All right, guys, what is up? This is Crow1176. Really, really quick, all right? So I have this potential customer, actually two of them that have been hitting me up with this question. And, um, okay, so the question was, Crow, what's the difference between your mixes, your Cinemax, your hybrid mix, you know, versus over-the-counter just a shade of gray? That was a question. That's exactly what they wrote. Just... Why can't I go to Home Depot and just tell them, hey, I need this gray. Boom. And done. Silver screen or whatever, right? So I do have a gray paint, all right? Actually, my daughter was painting something in her room, actually one of the walls. And she's decorating and all that stuff. So she had some leftover. And I painted this sample right here. That's the Cinemax. I do have two windows open in the back. As you can see, it is pretty sunny. It is pretty bright. Um... Cinemax is not ambient light rejection. Of course, this over-the-counter gray shade paint is not awesome, right? But let's check it out and let's see what we get, okay? So for now, I want to show you until, um, you know, I press play and stuff like that. But guys, this projector is an Optima P2 projector, okay? Ultra short projector. Um, but... There you go. There you go. And I didn't change it. I didn't pause anything. All right. Nothing. Look. There's the gray. And there's my mix. And boom. And this is cool. Thank you for suggesting this. Um, I hope this answers your questions. I hope it kind of gives you an idea that, you know, your typical over the counter paint that you're going to just buy. It's not going to have the goodness that you mix into it to enhance a little bit of the flavors. You know what I mean? So there you go. That's the Cinemax mix versus over-the-counter gray paint. All right. Also, I mean, you could go, you could even go lighter if you like. You could go darker if you like the shade if you want to go Home Depot, Lowe's, or your hardware store that carries a paint. Uh, but it will not work, all right? It will not work. You think that you're just going to plaster it on your wall and say, voila, here you go. I don't know. I think it needs a little bit more than just your over-the-counter paint. And that's what I'm trying to tell these potential customers that whatever I mix into the paint mix, it will enhance the flavors a little bit. I'm not saying it's going to be MB light rejection or none of that, but look, you guys could see for yourselves. See? There you go. And with that, guys, hopefully that answers your questions. I will see you in my next video. But there you go. Crow Cinemax versus your typical over-the-counter, just normal gray paint. All right? <laughs> and it's not dark. I don't know why is it coming out dark. I'm not making anything up here. Uh, let me see. Look, I'm not creating anything dark here. There you go. I, I don't know and it does have um it is eggshell because she bought she bought an eggshell um it does have a sheen to it as you can see but the cinemax thank you for watching like always say hundreds this is crow and i'm out peace